regret it. You will learn so more than you can ever imagine um, and you will grow in yourself immensely. I would say uh, don't be one trick pony. Um, you must uh, have an open mind and you must form liaisons. It's important, you won't get anywhere if you haven't got liaisons. And I said earlier, be a team player. Be prepared to listen, be prepared to act and use your enthusiasm and also use your drive to develop um, a council that's responsible in both regional and also in the local areas. I think it's important that when you run for council you have more than a single agenda. I've worked with a lot of councillors in the past who have run for council determined to get one thing done and ultimately whether or not you're successful in achieving that um, it can uh, detract from your satisfaction um, and, uh, and your effectiveness on, on council longer term because once you've, once you've achieved it um, then uh, what next? You need to have a holistic view when it comes to the community and what you want to achieve and, uh, and as I said before that, that passion, that desire to get things done both from a, uh, an outcome for others but also being part of your community uh, you stand to benefit as a beneficiary as well. You're not on your own, there's people that have been there before that can support you, there's the administration that will help you out with some of the, the legal things that you need to get your head around, there's training that's provided, there's mandatory training to help you out with some of the governance things so yeah, you, you want to be able to feel free to to get into local government and know that you'll be supported. My advice would be if you're thinking of uh, uh, being involved in local government, do more than think about it, take the action, nominate and get involved.